the question, does alien life exist out there, as well as how do we find it, or what is it like, meaning how it looks like, acts, its species, its intelligence level, culture, technology, and others, is a question or questions that fascinate many of us. Since we do not have the ability to travel through space at a fast pace, we cannot go very far from Earth and look for alien life. We must, therefore, be content with looking for alien life from Earth, and that is what scientists have been doing. There are specific things out in space they're looking for that would be a sign of an advanced or somewhat advanced civilization. The things they're looking for are artificial radio signals, megastructures like a Dyson sphere, which is a hypothetical megastructure that can take energy from a star or something like that, or some kind of megastructure that's out there in space. These megastructures are all based on theory. I'm pretty sure no one has uh, discovered one yet, but a advanced alien civilization could theoretically have one. So that's why they're looking for that. Also, any sign of advanced technologies and anything else that would prove or show that aliens are out there. They have now added a new sign of alien life or at least the idea of a sign of alien life to look for, and that is air pollution. For more information, I am quoting from earthsky.org here. Quote, on February 10th of 2021, researchers from NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center announced another factor to search for that's reminiscent of present-day earthly civilizations. They proposed looking at atmospheres on exoplanets for evidence of air pollution. Their idea is to hunt specifically for nitrogen dioxide gas, NO2, which it is abbreviated to. NO2 is produced on Earth primarily by the burning of fossil fuels. NO2 can also originate from natural sources, such as biology, lightning, or volcanoes. The new research paper, not yet peer-reviewed, was submitted to ARCSIS on February 9th of 2021 and will be published in the Astrophysical Journal. End of quote. This is an interesting new sign to look for, and it is a good idea from the people who thought of it. However, there are some flaws that should be pointed out about looking for pollution as a sign of advanced alien life. Others in the science and astronomy fields have pointed these out. Before mentioning them, it should be pointed out that the other signs mentioned before are not perfect. The first flaw is that they mentioned in the article that pollution can come from natural sources like biology, lightning, or volcanoes. Also, there could be another source of pollution on this planet, one that has nothing to do with life on it at all. Far away planets can have things going on on them that we do not know much about. The second problem with this way is that an alien civilization may not use fossil fuels like our own and not have any pollution they may have another way to get power and energy, one that produces little or no pollution. This could be because they have something more advanced than we have, or they simply have something different than us despite being at the same level of us or even below us when it comes to technological advancement. Now these problems with looking for pollution to find alien life does not mean it is a bad idea. All it means is that it is not perfect and can't find certain alien life that does not cause much or any pollution. The other ways mentioned before can be used to find them. This method can at least be given a try. The bottom line here 
is that this can be added to the list of other signs scientists are looking for that could lead them to the discovery of alien life someday. They now have one more sign to look for that could lead them to the discovery of alien life. So uh, thanks uh, for watching or listening. Hope uh, you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, uh, please uh, subscribe if uh, you have not already done so. And uh, thank you very much.